Hi guys, so once again, super unflattering angle in my new room. Um, so I just came back from Target and this isn't even all my bags. Also, why did she put a bag on this? That looks so strange. Um, hey, extra trash bag for me. But I just spent like an hour in Target when my grocery list was literally like six items long. Um, but I needed a few grocery things and then I just got like distracted and I decided to like kind of play this game where I would only buy, I primarily bought things that were on sale or like the store brand generic version of things unless I really couldn't find a generic that I wanted. Um, so yeah, I've been on a little personal mission lately to, oh there's like a fuzzy sticking out of my camera. Sorry if that was annoying you, if you could see that at all. Um, I've been on a little personal mission lately to eat better because being a college student, I just like shovel crap into my mouth like there's no tomorrow. And I just love food and drinks, so I love talking about this kind of stuff on my channel. So this is kind of like a healthy food haul, little vloggy update of like how my like food habits have been changing and I like have my own kitchen and I'm like living on my own and having to cook all my meals for the first time so it's been a really bizarre time for me and being summer I want to look thinner um because you know during the year in college you just your body expands a little bit uh in addition to your mind oh ho, 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 college plug um <laughs> I don't, I don't know guys, I've only had one cup of coffee today and it's like 4.30 so like you know something's a little off up here. So I've been learning how to cook as a vegetarian, it's been very interesting trying to do that on a budget. So this is like a healthy eating, also what's on sale at Target right now kind of haul update. Um, I like to do a lot of couponing hauls and stuff, I don't know if I have a playlist of all those, I should do that like all my couponing bargain hunting videos because that's kind of one of my hobbies and something I try to do a lot, save money, and I try to get healthier foods too. So I'm going to share with you what I got before my groceries go bad because uh, they haven't made it to the fridge yet because I wanted to haul them like a little weirdo. I think I do have another healthy food haul somewhere so I'll link all that down below and we can kind of create a little compilation of my attempts to healthy eat over the years. Um, so yeah, I've been doing a clean eating challenge. I did one last month in May and now I'm doing like a, a longer one for the month of June and it's just made me really aware of like how much like awful for you things I eat and how I really don't know what healthy food is so I'm trying to like learn and do more exercise and all of that. So these are the things I picked up and yeah, I might talk a little bit about how I've been starting to meal plan. Usually I cook a lot of my foods on like one night and I'll kind of like eat the leftovers throughout the week and I'll prepare my lunches the night before ahead of time um, for my internship because otherwise I get out in like the middle of the afternoon and I'm starving and I haven't eaten lunch and then I eat like a giant meal then and then I want a giant dinner like late at night, like eight or nine. So that's not good. It's been better for me to have a smaller lunch and then have like a bigger dinner at a normal time. So I've been trying to like do less snacking because I do a lot of that and do more eating fresh food and making like my actual meals bigger. Like for example, I like make salad every day for my internship and eat that as lunch and I used to just do the greens and dressing but now I'll add like extra veggies on top just for variety to make, you know, so you're eating the rainbow and um... I've been adding quinoa too for some protein so I'm fuller longer and I'm not like binging on snacks while I'm sitting at my desk. So uh, yeah, I also got some makeup things because I found like the super sale section in my Target. Everything was like an extra 15% off and it was already clearance. It was amazing. I don't know if all your Targets have that but it was amazing. Also, um, today I realized that I have a problem because I walked into Target and I saw my favorite Target employee so the fact that I have one in the first place is like a little alarming. I noticed that he dyed his hair. I mean he dyed it blue so it's a pretty drastic change but still the fact that I have a favorite Target employee and notice when he changes his hair color. Maybe I hang out at Target too much. I don't really know. I literally go grocery shopping like multiple times a week. It's so inefficient. I'll like forget things and it's just silly. I don't want to like ever spend that much money at one time. So for some reason I think it's cheaper if I spend smaller amounts of money on different days versus a big sum all at once. I don't know. Um, but anyways, 
lady bagged this. I don't know why. This I found in the dollar spot, even though it was really $3. And it's just a nice little bin. Uh, it says it's in the color aqua. And it's kind of like a weird plasticky squishy material and I thought this would just be good for a little tote because my desk is a giant mess because I just have makeup everywhere I've been trying new ways to store it uh, since I've been in this room and I put them in little buckets so I figure I could just put them all in here with my brushes and then when I have to like when I'm like sneak around in the morning because my roommate's sleeping and I have to get up really early I can just like take my whole tote of makeup and bring it out and do it in the bathroom mirror instead of waking her up and then I don't have to carry like four separate buckets I can just put it all in here so that was the idea for that one. I'm trying to like, like as someone with a shopping addiction, I'm trying to like think things through and really think like where they would fit in my lifestyle, in my room, how I'd use them, not just like impulse buying. I'm just like trying to be better about things, like less excess, less waste, because I just have like so much stuff, so much clothes, and it's just, it's getting to me. I've been on a big purge ever since spring. Um, you've seen my decluttering videos a little bit. That's like part of, only part of the battle all right so anyway going into other things these are two things that were actually on my list i needed shaving cream because so i probably have one pump left and i decided to just try the target brand version i should probably get my receipt so i can tell you guys how much things cost me so the sign on the thing said this was 239 versus 299 for the skin to mint like brand name i usually buy but the receipt's saying 279 so i'm kind of annoyed um, this one's like a dupe for the Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Smooth Shave Gel. This is the Smoothing Shave Gel Plus Soy. Really overexposed and washed out right now. Sorry guys, I'm just excited the sun is out because it's been pouring and I haven't been able to film. Um, but this says helps you shave less often, which really got me, uh, and helps prevent razor bumps and lightly fragrance. So... That is exciting. Anything that makes me shave less is a friend of mine. And then I needed mouthwash. And for some reason, I could only find these, like, giant, giant bottles of mouthwash. So, like, I'm really afraid I won't like this flavor. It's invigorating mint. And I, like, I'm very picky with what mints I like. So I'm kind of terrified. This is a freaking liter of mouthwash. This is the Crest Pro Health. CPC, whatever that means, anti-gingivitis and anti-plaque oral rinse, invigorating clean multi-protection. So I need like, I fluoride rinse a ton because I get cavities really, really easily. And yeah, I'm going to try this one out because my current one is almost gone. And that mouthwash is probably the one like not on sale, not store brand thing I bought. What was it? That was $4.99? Really? I thought it was more than that. I thought it was like almost like six something. I don't know, but 4 dollars works better for me. I might as well show you all my health and beauty stuff before I go into food because that's just what I happen to be pulling out of my bags um, first. So they had a whole bin of like extra clearance makeup. Like these all have been like double clearance tags. So they were like dirt cheap. I almost made it out. I didn't buy any full price makeup or stuff like that so I even like walked through all the makeup aisles and I tempted myself and I resisted it so I'm really proud um I got this L'Oreal brow stylist plumper and it says precise mini brush and this is in light to medium and it was $7.99 you can see the previous sale price was $5.58 which isn't that exciting and I got it for $2.38 so that's like as cheap as you can get and I don't really like my current brow pencil that much right now as you can see it doesn't match that well and the textures is kind of like not the smoothest um so i thought for the price it was pretty cheap it reminds me of the benefit gimme brow which i ran out of so i'll try that out and see if i like it and who knows maybe it's a dupe for that so i don't have to spend twenty dollars on it and then these are the maybelline what are these color elixirs and one of my, my friend liz absolutely loves these she raves about them to me all the time last time i was at target they were on sale I think there says the price is normally $5.99. I think they're on sale for like four or something. But these were $1.78 each. That is so inexpensive for lip colors. And look how funky these are. Oh, whoops, can't see. Look at these. I got this crazy Mandarin Rapture, which is a really pretty orange color. It's funny because one of my friends and I have been like, on an orange lip kind of thing where if like someone's wearing it out in public will point it out um because she saw that I had like the Maybelline Vivid uh Mandarin one but I, I can't find it so this was cheap and I want to try this formula so that looks good and this one is in Caviar Couture 
it's just a dark like purpley brown like very unusual color so I'm really excited for these these are apparently more like lip gloss even though they're shaped like lipsticks and it's misleading but like for the price like that was so inexpensive I was a happy camper I was also out of cereal so I spent some time comparing calories and stuff and I usually just go for Kashi cereals I had some vanilla thing very similar to this but I couldn't remember what it was called and they didn't have it um, so I just got the Kashi Go Lean and this one is naturally sweetened fiber twigs soy protein grams and honey puff cereal and has 12 grams of protein per serving which is a lot as a vegetarian I try to sneak that in wherever I can and it has a lot of fiber so it'll keep you full throughout the day and this wasn't like more expensive than other less healthy cereals so that was weird this was only 314 so that's not bad at all then I picked up this box of Luna protein bars this was 579 and it's in a new flavor chocolate salted caramel also has 12 grams of protein so these are good when I don't have time for breakfast in the morning or I need like a bigger snack that will fill me up more. Um, the calories aren't too bad on 170 each so it's like not great and they're kind of sugary. Um, but they have a lot of protein and fiber and iron, calcium, uh, a lot of folate, whatever that is, vitamin E. They're just pretty good for you all around and the flavor sounded delicious. I love Luna Bars in general. They're a good snack. And they're like more healthy than like what was on sale, like a Quaker Oats like chocolate chip kind of granola bar things. But there's so much like, I feel like there's so much added sugar in that. I don't know. I like these. They're good. They feel more natural and less like artificially flavored to me. We're now cracking into the next bag, folks. This little guy was on sale for $1.97, uh, which is pretty good. This is just a little coffee creamer. I usually buy the bigger ones, but I have one right now. It's running a little low, uh, but I'm not going to be here this weekend. So I didn't want to like buy a ton, then have it go bad. So I just bought a little one in case I run out because that would be the end of the world because I always put coffee creamer in my coffee. Um, so this is the new Nestle Coffee Mate Natural Bliss All Natural Coffee Creamer. Um, with real milk and cream, no artificial ingredients in sweet cream flavor. So I saw a commercial for this the other day, and I think like one of the things that really makes me like keep on extra weight is coffee creamer. Like it's probably so sugary, there's probably not many good things for you in here, but like like I like to say like coffee is my one vice. Like I don't smoke, I just I just drink coffee. Like it could be so much worse. Um so I don't know. I, this is my attempt to make that one vice of mine, that one like healthy, that one unhealthy thing that I always have to have a little bit better for myself. So maybe. I hope I like it. Sweet cream. I don't think I can really go bad. I should probably like go put that in the fridge. This is another new thing to me. Uh, this is the Morningstar bacon strips and 36% less fat than cooked pork bacon. This was on sale for $3.49 uh, I think it's normally like five something and this just sounded really good you can just do it in the frying pan one of the things meat wise I probably miss most would be bacon so I've never tried this kind before I love Morningstar I have tried a lot of their like meat free meat alternative options and since this was on sale that'd be a good time to try this I needed something I could make for dinner so that worked for me I really love doing stir fries and stuff in the frying pan because it's just so easy and you can just like kind of absentmindedly like flip it over and it's really hard to screw up because like I suck at cooking so if things can be made easier I will take it. So something I could make with that bacon in the frying pan. Uh, this is just a broccoli and cauliflower mixture. This was $2.49, just the Archer Farms uh, like Target brand and you steam it in a bag. I've made broccoli like this before. It's really easy to do and then I have some veggies for dinner and I'll just keep leftovers and add them to my dinners all week long. I can just heat them up in the frying pan or the microwave a second time around. So that's good. I'm seeing now that like the sell-by date is in like two or three days so I'm kind of annoyed with myself for not noticing that but I'm probably eating this tonight anyway so it's okay my sweet mate just started vacuuming so hopefully you can't hear that too much it sounds like it's in the far off distance but really it's like pretty close to this room this was on sale for three dollars versus normally three borderline four dollars um this is the tazo iced passion herbal tea caffeine free and it's like a concentrate you add uh water to it and you just like keep this in your fridge i just needed like a beverage this has only 20 calories per serving and there's like eight in this whole thing so that's not that bad uh there's no like cholesterol sodium or fat in it um 
it's pretty pretty good for you it's pretty uh you know not many things on the nutritional facts a lot of zeros and the sugar isn't that high either so i'm excited for this that seemed like a relatively healthy thing and it'll probably last a while and i can just have a cold drink ready to go whenever i want to mix it with water for the price i love the hibiscus tea they have at right that is what this is or passion tea that they have at starbucks so that's perfect i went in for salad greens because like i said i make myself a salad every day for my internship and I'll just like buy a bag of greens that's they're usually pre-washed yeah it's ready to eat and I'll just like throw on some things on top of it and a little container of dressing and I'm out the door it's so fast and easy and it'll hold me over until I can get home and make a dinner um so this is the fresh express 50 50 mix spring mix and spinach they had like romaine too but like I don't know I love spinach uh these were like two for five so that was pretty cheap and this will make me usually like three to four salads which is about how many i eat in a work week so that's the perfect amount and then i think this is the last thing i have which is ironic because it's the last thing i picked up i'm so excited for this you guys how much this was i think like three dollars yeah i think this was 2.99 so that's a pretty good price it's just the simply balanced like target brand organic fruit and kale smoothie mix and we have like a neutral bullet here and i love smoothies and i love kale so it sounded perfect um, there's organic pineapples, organic apples, and organic bananas, and includes a kale packet. It says just add water or juice. So I'm pretty excited for this. This was just in the frozen aisle, right next to the frozen fruit, and it just looks delicious. I love green smoothies, and there's in this whole thing, there's two servings, and one serving has 70 calories, quite a lot of fiber, a ton of vitamin A and C, so it seemed pretty good for you. So I'm really excited to try that. I've been doing a lot more like food type posts on my Instagram so make sure you follow me I made it public now because of a challenge I was doing so you don't have to request to follow me you can just hit follow and then you'll see um, all my posts you can follow me at lol86 and um, if I really like any of these things I'm sure I'll be posting about them and do like a mini review because I've been doing that a lot lately if there's a lot of things I really like I'll just post about it because I've, life is too hard to do a monthly favorites video even though I want to um but yeah that, that that stuff that kind of stuff will be on Instagram so be sure to follow me um are you guys doing any like clean eating healthy diet changes lately I feel like a lot of people I know are um probably because it's the summer but we can do it together comment below and tell me what healthy things you eat that are vegetarian friendly and maybe I'll try those up as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul uh, it's kind of hard for me to shop and get groceries that I can cook myself that are vegetarian that are clean eating and healthy um, <laughs> that are you know on sale so I spent a good time getting this stuff but I feel like I did a good job and I'm really excited and now I can like you know know what I'm gonna eat for all my meals for the week and it's really exciting and yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoy tell me what you would like to see on sale at Target do you have a favorite Target employee or am I just like a complete psycho? I don't know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video here on the BAM. 3, 2, 1, BAM!